Micah Parsons, who you know has a podcast that uh, you your know, favorite. You don't yeah. miss an episode. No, no, I never miss the Micah Big Parsons subscriber. Uh, podcast. I never listen to it, so I never miss it. But I do hear like stuff and clips and what people are saying or whatever. Right. And I told you I wanted to t- change the name of his podcast to turn off his mic up. I mean, that's what I really want to make it. That's what it should be. But I tell you what, you might be right now. Here's the thing that's so funny, and this is why I'm always pushing back on the former athletes. It's all right. You want to go ahead, and I'm not saying you can't. To me, the one, the guys who are doing all this stuff while they're playing, I, I just think it's a small window focusing on your career. There'll be a time and a place for all that. You know, I just, mm-hmm. I, I just find that to be weird to me, that you're not all in on your playing career, you know, like for real. And you have distractions and all the other stuff. But anyway – Micah Parsons was the biggest Dak Prescott fan. Remember last year, mm-hmm. what did he finish second second place for the MVP voting yeah. uh, because uh, Lamar Jackson didn't get all the first place votes. So, so that was – he only – there was one first place vote that he didn't get. Uh, but anyway, he was singing the praises of Dak who had this fantastic year, of course, until the playoffs showed up. But anyway – uh, mm-hmm. Now he has a different tune. Rob G., can you explain uh, how Micah Parsons has quickly taken a left turn on his guy who he was saying was one of the greatest quarterbacks and uh, put some respect with a K on his name? Rob, almost a year ago to the day. Unbelievable. Micah Parsons won on this podcast in the wake of an impressive Dak Prescott performance, to be honest. He had a great game. And he said something along the lines of, I don't condone the bashing of Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, and they don't have the same energy for the Eagles. So when we play bad, you come at us. When the Eagles play bad, no one says anything. And then he finishes his podcast again. Last year, I'm tired of people trashing my quarterback. All right? Flash forward. One year. almost 364 days later. (laughs) Micah Parsons is on his podcast with uh, Trayvon Diggs, and they're talking about quarterback play in the NFL and what was intended to be a complimentary segment of Jaden Daniels having a great season winded up being a backhanded compliment at his own quarterback take a listen where would you rank him among quarterbacks right now I would say he's definitely top 10 higher you think he's top five for sure who else you gonna put in there give us your top five right now I'm gonna go him I'm gonna go Mahomes Mar gotta have Mar yeah Lamar Josh Allen. Jalen playing pretty good right now, too. Jared Goff is is a top five quarterback right now. <laughs> and Matthew Stafford. I, bro, I love how Matthew Stafford played the quarterback position. Every Like Sam Darnold playing in the, could be in the top five conversation right yeah, now. Sam yeah, Sam Darnold looking yeah. crazy, too. So it's hard. There's a lot of cl- I, quarterbacks right I now. Can, I can't give you a top five right now based on how everybody's performing. Who Boy. wasn't listed in that list? Wait guys. a minute. Well, were we missing somebody? What we were missing... Dak Prescott, Dakota. I, nah, ain't no way. Nah, nah, nah. We heard it. We just ain't no way they didn't say Dak, right? Maybe I'm missing. Maybe no. I'm getting old. Maybe my uh, is the airphone. Uh, 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 is this on? Because I know I heard Dak in there somewhere. Dak was not mentioned. Nowhere to be found. And the other one too is Patrick Mahomes is having an awful year. I'm talking about numbers wise. I know they've won seven games, but my goodness. Really? And no Dak. Nowhere to you be know, found. Well, I think that's what's what's even more insulting about it is that if you're going just strictly off the numbers, you want to have some Patrick Mahomes couldn't be in there just based off the numbers, all right. Well, then that means you're going based off what you really feel about the person, right? right? So, which right. means you ain't mentioned Dak because the same thing could apply. You could be like, I know Dak numbers aren't the greatest great, right now, right, but, he's but a I great, still but believe he's a in him. That's 10, my man. He's 100%. A top 10. Oh he's my. on his way up. He's coming back. Don't worry about it. We're about to get a run going. You had a chance to big up your own guy. Now, this is to me very, very, very telling. Michael Parsons is bright enough to know most of the time, which, you know, those types of podcasts, we don't want to hear some, wow, that was really warm and cuddly feeling things. People want the salacious stuff, right? If he talks smack about another player or if he says something about a player or a coach on his own team or, or back when I was in college, you, we used to get free money, whatever. That's what folks want. That's what's going to go viral. And you knew good and well when you opened your mouth and did not mention Dak Prescott 
Even if you left open a caveat to say, hey, this is my man, so I'm going to keep him out the ranking, you know, just because that's just my man, I'm going to keep him out just to be fair. Like, okay, cool. You can't list that and not, that's very deliberate. At some point, Dak Prescott crosses your mind and you mention his name just off of GP, general principle. That's my guy. I'm naming him. Because you know we're going to hear that you didn't. You know we're going to make a thing of it. And you know Dak felt some type of way. Now, if maybe if this is telling in that, is there something going on? Is there some smoke? Do they not get down with each other? Are they not rocking with each other? So he's like, hey, it is what it is. I said what I said. But this is very loud, very telling. And this is why I was telling Rob G earlier, I don't mind players having podcasts, but it would be cool sometimes if they had a podcast that it wasn't even about the sport they play. Like, what if Micah Parsons had a WWE because he's just a massive fan? He had some niche audience, and he just talked about WWE stuff. Or he would talks about, you know, playing Call of Duty. Like, it doesn't have to be you're giving me all this football insight during the season, and in particular talking about your own team, and leaving out the most important position, the quarterback. So that was very loud to me. Very, very, uh, again, deliberate. And again, if you're if you're Dak Prescott, you already got UNC and he keep bumping heads and they keep saying they're good, but they keep doing it. You're hearing all this other stuff rumbling, Mike McCarthy. It's just it's getting loud. And I wouldn't like that if I was Dak. Like, man, we're trying to hold this thing down and right the ship. And here you are starting little stupid things that we just don't need. Yeah. Well, th- this is why I'm against it. It just it there's nothing that good that comes out of it. Seriously. What is the good that comes out of it? Either you're going to upset a teammate or infuriate uh, an opponent. For what reason? What 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 reason do you serve? Is is being a pro athlete making millions of dollars not that enough? Boring? Is it <laughs> that boring? boring of a life? I, Seriously, honestly, I've had I, a like, conversation. It can't about be this, about yeah. the money of it because because they're not making the money that they're making playing. I just don't even understand with all that you could be doing that that is where you want to go. If you want to go and hang out with your buddies and talk ball and go to the bar, you know what I mean, and then be yeah. in, your, in your man's room or whatever, you could do that. You don't have to put a mic on. I think so. I had a conversation with a friend of mine, uh, a little bit older, like more like a mentor, and he kept asking me about, it was, his point was, like, why is Angel Reese doing this, doing this, doing this, pocket? Like, why isn't she just kind of like hooping? I'm like, this era – They feel it's a big case of FOMO, fear of missing out. Why am I not at the uh, New York Fashion Week? Why am I not at the Met Gala? Why am I not having a podcast? Why am I not a guest appearance on someone else's podcast? Like there's a weird fear of missing out I think athletes are having now where if their hands aren't in a million pots, it's almost like, well, what are you doing? And I get it. They want to strike while the iron's hot. They want to have a book deal. They want to have this. They want to have their own show here. They want to be... Uh, what's your boy, Travis Kelsey, in a movie now? He's got a movie coming out. Like, they want to be and have a hands in a bunch of pots, but it's almost like you don't have to. Like, you'll be fine, and I promise you'll live, and I promise you'll be fine, and I promise folks will still think highly of you. So, again, I don't, I'm totally disappointed in that dude. Fine, you already got the podcast. It's not like, you know, he's already in it, he's already been doing it for some time. But you know what this does, man. And now, now what do they do in Dallas? Hey, how you doing, Dak? I know you guys got the big game coming up, but uh, Micah Parsons was listing out his quarterbacks, and he didn't list you in his top ten. Now Dak has to. Oh well, you know, I don't really, I didn't really get a chance to hear it, but I'm just, I'm sure, you know, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because that that's a feel? question that that the reporters in Dallas will ask. Absolutely, they will. So. They want to get a reaction. What? You might get a great quote. Hey, did you he hear? He might Mike, finally snap because Dak Prescott is the right. presidential. Yeah, but at some point, man, you're like, what? Uh, he list, they list, he, Michael listed his uh, top ten uh, quarterbacks. You weren't on that list. Are you surprised he didn't pick you? What? What do There's, you mean? Yeah, man. And you know what? And, and Rob G, Mary, Mary, Alex, when he's here, you know, y'all got hey, somebody That's whoever's running his between, pod. By the way. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't lying about that. Maybe maybe that maybe that double cheesecake set him back. Um, somebody's got to be looking out for. Him. Meaning he's got to have a, a Mary, an Al, a, a Rob G. Somebody be like, hey yo man, you know, because they don't. It's not like they do these podcasts live. Like dude, like yo, I don't know if you caught that, but you didn't mention your boy what, Dak. What would it be like if if somebody you were on a podcast and you did the top five radio talk show hosts on a national level and I, and you didn't include me. Like, seriously. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. People will be, and, I, and again, if uh, the best, and again, maybe because we're older and we're more mature and we're a little more savvy, 
The best way to excuse that is to start by saying, you know, that's my man, so I'm going to keep him out of it just to be fair. That way you didn't say he was, or you just go, hey, man. But you're you know, doing top ten. Why do you have to keep him out if you really believe he's, like, one of the best well, right, quarterbacks? Right. I'm, just, right. I'm, I'm not even trying to give mean. him a, an exit. Like, even if, yeah, it's just to not mention him, even if he fine, to your point, let's say he was like, I'm, a, I'm just such a real, I'll be keeping it real, you know. I'm just saying, you know, I got him at ten, but that's my man. He going to work his way up. To not mention him at all is absolute crazy work. And, uh, and, and now and he you mentioned put division more rivals stuff. Right. before he, you know, mentioned Dak. Yeah, he was like, Lamar. Justin yeah, Jefferson this last Darnold, year yeah. said, oh, Sam Darnold was Kirk, even shocked. He's like, he Kirk O'Banks got to put him first. And it's like, at that time, Kirk Cousin wouldn't do anything. Uh, Tyreek Hill goes out of his way to say Tua is the best quarterback in football. Right, right. right. And, and that's with Mahomes because that's his quarterback, what, right? It's now he's just, also just sending weird. out the, the Instagram videos. He is flirting. Videos, he but is flirting. But he's public, still make sure no, but, you know, but, he, <laughs> but he has done it. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And he could have easily said, hey, hey. I, want a, I want a Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes. I'm always got to keep him at the – he could say that, but, he, yeah. but he's smart enough – to understand, I'm playing with Tua. And remember, there, he was like, hey, nah. nobody throws a more accurate ball than Tua. Remember, that was yeah, his way of that. saying and it. And to be fair, I mean, I get, like, it ain't like Tua has been bad when he's had Tyreek. He set up his, his personal uh, right. records with Tua. But I, I'll say this, last point for me with this. I just think, am I not forced to only think that there's something to this? You know what I mean? Am I not forced to think he deliberately did this? Like, I, I don't want to, but I'm led to believe that there's no way you were listing off quarterbacks, and I gave you 10. Like, let's say it was three. He just wanted to keep it real, and he was just like, a Patrick Mahomes, Lamar, and Josh. Okay, fine, I get that. He just, you know, we all know Dak's not better than those three. Dude, we gave you 10. <laughs> you ain't going to name the 10? So unless that was deliberate, like I said, there's something to it, or if it wasn't deliberate, and he and like accidentally left him off, meaning he know Dak ain't a top ten player. Like that's just he was just his honest answer. Then man, that's that's very damning either way. Your man's has to make the list. I repeat, your man's has to make the list.